happy 2018 to everyone. And on January 3rd, I'm beginning the new 2018 course from uh, the Suppressed Histories Archives. And this year, we're going to do it differently. I've been doing the courses as a way to get paid to finish my books. <laughs> and uh, there'll be more of those coming forward. But this time, I wanted to do something that's much more international. And so we're going to be taking a very global look uh, through the webcasts and the readings and the discussions of uh, some of the visual talks that I have, like this one on sacred dance, both ancient and modern. And I'm also going to use the course as a way to build out some of the digital shows that haven't gotten ever transferred over from old slide format, like this one on the Sahara, some lots of interesting and exciting new content in this. And so there's a lot of these suppressed histories titles that are regional shows that look geographically and chronologically. Uh, we're going to start out on January 7th and again on the 10th with a webcast on Ancient Treasures of African Women. Uh, that is show burst its bounds easily. There's actually two forms of it, and so there's a part two of this as well that we will get to. There's certain shows like these that I plan to do, and then there's going to be others that will be an audience choice. Uh, I'll give, uh, we'll have like a voting survey to see what subscribers are interested in. Uh, ancient Zimbabwe, Ancient Iran, uh, some of these are just the only the ancient period because there's just so much material that, you know, having the more modern stuff is, is a whole other presentation. India, and so uh, this is partly related to the fact that I've been scanning and relabeling the old hard copy slides. Ecuador, really interesting archaeology around women in Ecuador, very important area to look at. And also Brazil, both ancient and modern in this show. And so at least recent, maybe not super recent, but uh, the more historical period. And also this one is looking at the old mound building cultures of the river valleys of Eastern North America. And lots of great treasures in that one. Women in Ancient Arabia. I did this recently as a webcast, but you know, if there's interest, I'll do them again. Uh, probably two webcasts per month in most cases, unless I don't have wireless access when I'm traveling. And so, Ancient Ethiopia, Modern Ethiopia, really interesting content. This is an old Neolithic one from Europe that I've offered before, but it it could happen. Statue men here, as the scientists call them, but there's very strong preponderance of, of ancestral women in some of that iconography. Ancient Italy and the islands there in the central Mediterranean. And then a look besides the statue men here are also the, the chambers, the, the megalithic chambers in the earth, which were both ceremonial and also funerary and astronomical, all of the above. And so there are presentations on sacred stones all over the world. This one's from Colombia. And also a series that I did for the last course I actually just grew into more and more visual talks, lots of material on ancient Crete and Greece in the Neolithic, in the classical Cretan period, the temples, the great temples of the goddesses there. And then coming up more into prehistoric times in Greece, lots of very interesting women's dance iconography there and some African connections also. Now, this, this is a really, I have to think of a better title, which is, this is kind of a boring title, but it's a fascinating show for uh, both the Neolithic and the Bronze Age, including the breast pots like this one from Slovakia. And then there's, you know, the old faves, women's power. This is one of the ones, this is the slideshow I've done more than any other on uh, women's power and global perspective. That's available. I do want to uh, finally expand the digital show on matricultures. In the past, I called this the mother right show. 
And so looking at the societies in the world, which are not only matrilineal, but matrilocal, female-centered societies, egalitarian cultures. And so I'd like to do that one. And there's a whole series on women shaman. Now, of course, I have a DVD out on this, but the slideshows are a little bit different, uh, different uh, overlapping content. Uh, so there are whole chunks of that in the form of a show on invocation, on trance shapeshifters and spirit flight. Trance dance is part of that. Women healers and herbalists, healing with stones here in Kalimantan. And then there's another series, because those are all ancient, uh, that I call living traditions, which we look at Asian cultures. And you see these photographs, these are modern people, or recent, you know, 20th century, maybe late 19th century. Um, so the same thing for the Americas, the medicine women in the Americas, the spirit diviners in Africa, the priestesses, the trans priestesses. And so there's that whole series. And then there's another show that looks at you know, this is, these are all overlapping categories, but looking at the priestess, especially as women who are ceremonial leaders, who are connected to particular sanctuaries, this all overlaps, however. Uh, the Wu female shamans in ancient China, and then a whole series of uh, all other visual talks on goddess traditions around the world. And so this one, Deosophy is goddess wisdom, there's the Cosmic Weaver, which I don't think I've offered yet, so that will probably be one of the featured uh, visual talks, one of the webcasts in the course. Uh, if we have votes for it, we can do the Canaanite and Hebrew goddesses again. Magna Mater and Isis of 10,000 names. Now, this is really, it's not so much about ancient Isis as it is about her effect, her spread across Europe, Southwest Asia, and, and Northern Africa in historic times that we can kind of track that. And so we're looking at Jordan and the way that the great mother Kibele out of Asia Minor, her veneration, how it spread. And so there's a lot of Celtic in here. There's the Balkans. There's uh, Egyptian stuff from the Ptolemaic period. Uh, very interesting show, actually. An international uh, goddess uh, veneration. And then this is on Chinese goddesses. This is a fairly new one that incorporates what I have on Xi Wangmu and then some other uh, goddesses, Yuhua and others. And then this is on Mexican goddesses, primarily Aztec, uh, but also Mixtec and Huastec and some of the Western Mexican traditions. And then looking at South America and the divine female in that cultural context, and spider grandmothers there. Uh, show on breasts, so breast iconography, whether it's beaten gold breastplates like this from Colombia, or breast fountains shooting out uh, water from from the nipples. Uh, these are these are all kind of uh, based on the idea of the divine within the female body. And so the ancient female figurines, there's actually more than one show on that. I have it for the Paleolithic and then for other periods. The Sacra Vulva presentation, uh, both the vulva stones and the Sheila gigs, the tantric figures. Snake women, shapeshifters, goddesses, ancestors, female shamans. That's another one from the Greek component. And so we have Etruscans. There are various shows for Italy also. These are from previous courses I've taught in the past. Some amazing content from Iberia. Uh, not just uh, the La Dama de Elche and some of the classic limestone sculptures there, but also older images from the Neolithic and the Bronze Age of female statue men here again. And so we have the Gauls in what's now France, Luxembourg, Belgium. And we have the Celtic realm in Britain. Lots of these sculptures are from the Roman era, but it's, there's a variety of things. The Witches and Pagans show, which I'm always happy to do again. And this was also created in the process of the last online course uh, that allowed me to actually finish that book. 
And so basically the Norse traditions, women in the Norse traditions, a show on Sheila gigs, this is basically in European context, and also the fairy faith. And so this is getting more into that medieval period, you know, the later medieval period and the matter of Britain and the grail cycles and all of those things. And also the way that the goddess goes disguised as the Madonna, as the uh, black Madonna, as the various types of saints. And so the way these are basically survivals of veneration of the female divine under a masculine supremacy regime in, in Christianity, the all male priesthood in their theologies and how the people kept, here's, here's more on that same topic, the, the ways that they disguised either their older goddesses or they invented new legendary female figures who fought back against rape, against male domination and became folk saints. This is a very heavy show on patriarchies, but we got to look at this stuff. You know, the patterns, this is systemic. It's not individual. It, it marks us all. You know, we're all um, branded and, and stained by the patterns of domination. But it's like, what are they? How did they come to be? How do they work? You know, the, the forms of enforcement. And related to that also is the... Um, the whole issue of, of colonial ideologies, many of which were forged in the process of the witch hunts, the Inquisition, these ideas of demonizing blackness, demonizing non-Christians, all of that. That's kind of a stub, that show. And then this is another show I have to uh, kind of fission off from the older presentation, Racism, History, and Lies, but looking at patterns of conquest, including here the enslavement of women and children, which is so much part of that systemic domination. And then the resistance movement, rebel shamans. And this was a pattern I discovered where women who were priestesses, oracles, prophets, are leaders over and over again around the world, but especially in the indigenous world, in Africa, in the Americas, uh, fighting back against colonial domination. And then persecutory cultures. This is uh, a variety of subjects from the witch hunts and, and the witches' bridles to pogroms and lynchings and the crusades and the crusades against pagans in Europe, not just the ones against Africa and Asia. And so what are the patterns? You know, we, we had the, the election of Voldemort and we need to understand how persecutory culture works. We've got to grapple with this in order to fight it. And, you know, these, these poisonous memes have to be undermined and understood because they keep coming back. And so that, that's a presentation I'm in the process of putting together. We'll be featuring that at some point, along with this new show, which is not yet complete. Dangerous women, they fight back. We fight back. So there are the Amazon show, Amazons and Women Warriors. This will probably be, actually be split off into two more manageable shows because there's so much content there. And this one looks at more recent history of women who are leaders of liberation movements, all kinds, uh, against all forms of oppression. That's Lozen there, the Apache uh, woman-loving medicine warrior. Lesbian heritages. Female Rebels and Mavericks, that one's been around for a while, and that's also kind of fissioning. Some of that's going into the Dangerous Women show. This is a kind of a stub, Women of the African Diaspora. So I may do some sessions where we'll just uh, do Q&A, and I might show a, one of the shorter shows like these here. This is, We're getting to the end here. Cherokee artist here with the traditional, see it's the same kind of uh, mortar that you see so much in the Southern Hemisphere. Pacific Islands, another one to grow. Women in rock art. So there's lots of different options. We're going to be going from January, at least through May, and maybe through the summer, depending how it goes. Uh, so there's lots of, of visual talks to choose from. And in the meantime, we're going to have readings and discussions based on the readings that I'll be posting on the private listserv Valletta. So this is all something you can subscribe to uh, month by month, you know, just one at a time. See if you like it. You can unsubscribe at any time. There are no schedules except for 
the webcasts which are live. And, you know, we'll have uh, more topics coming along as we get back into the process of scanning the, the hard copy slide trays and labeling them and throwing them into PowerPoints. So there's, there's lots, of, um, lots of area to cover. Anyhow, this is how you subscribe. The, the web address down here, sourcememory.net. Uh, as I said, you know, you can subscribe one month at a time. You do get a discount for three or more months at a time. And uh, you, you can do it one, once, you know, every month if you feel like doing it that way. And so it's, it's pretty informal. There's no requirements. You don't have to attend any sessions. You don't have to comment. No papers, nothing like that. It's not that kind of a course. It's just more of a community, an, an arena where we can discuss ideas about history and culture, the politics of culture, the spiritual content of these heritages. And so that's this course. And we'll, we'll see where we get with that. So I'm inviting you to subscribe. Uh, supporting this means you're also supporting uh, buying a home for the Suppressed Histories Archives, which is going to happen this year. And it's a way to fund this work, keep it all going forward. Because we really need to know these things, especially in these times. It's, we, we have to be able to remember the good things. We have to understand the difficult things, you know, so that we can get our heads around what's coming at us next. And so you are warmly invited. Everyone is welcome to participate. And so I hope to see you joining us. Thank you.